looked like a terrific hit on the head. Here's another look at the incomplete pass to Williams. Well, you see him coming across right now. He makes the catch. He gets hit. This is a tough call right now because there is a rule if you take a couple steps with it, it is a completion. Incomplete. Second and ten. Argos at their own 50. Bell in the shotgun. Right has some time. This time it's incomplete again to Nigel Williams with Eric Carter draped all over him. And an excellent job of Eric Carter, but you also got to give Nigel Williams has to catch this ball. He runs a nice route. He's got good depth, good first down yardage, comes back to the ball, makes the right move. But Eric Carter closes so quick, breaks his concentration, hits him, can't catch the ball. You can see it coming right for now. He's coming back to the ball. It's a great job of great Eric strip. Carter getting his hand in there, not Correct. allowing Nigel to come down with the ball. Williams burned Carter in the Hamilton defense for three big gains for more than 150 yards two weeks ago at the Sky Dome. Noel Prefontaine with a big leg. Punting for the Argos. Deep down the right side. Bobby Olive has it for Hamilton and doesn't have much room as he's piled on at his own 20 yard line. A 44 yard punt from Prefontaine and a five yard return and already there's O'Shea the Hamilton native scrapping with Dan Pronick. Danny McManus coming in at quarterback checking his ready list. McManus as we mentioned off the top has thrown five picks in the last two games has not seemed to have his touch. Well it's going to be up to these big boys up front led by Carl Coulter the center. These guys have got to give him some time right now to get a rhythm. He's been out of rhythm for the last two weeks. He needs to find the rhythm. These guys can be responsible. Ronald Williams mentioned him earlier in the show. He's got to have a big game. They've got to use him. He's big. He had a thousand yards rushing last year. Ron Lancaster telling us part of McManus's problems has been sweat problem created by Carl Coulter, his center. He sweats so much, he said, that whenever McManus gets the ball, it comes up slimy. He can hardly throw it. Well, I don't know if Mrs. Coulter will love you for saying that, but <laughs> yeah, it's one of those things when you're a big man, you do have a tendency to sweat a little bit, and obviously that's what happens. Now here on, on, on the organized side, about Demetrius Maxey, talking to the guys before the game, is having a just a sensational year. Three sacks, but 20 tackles already. Of course, the ever-reliable Michael O'Shea in the middle makes things happen, both here and on special teams. And the defensive backs with the newcomer Clifton Abraham was really making a presence on that corner. Abraham and Capers both out of Florida State rookies and McManus connects on a short dump pass over the top to Ronald Williams but it will be short of a first down and the Cats will be in a punting situation. Well they're giving them short little routes to dump off right now and maybe that's good for Danny just to, to get a rhythm of at least completing the passes right now. But a great job of Kelly. A great job of Kelly Wilchard. Coming back, reading it, and closing on the ball, and just a nice shot right here. Here you see him make a play. Good tackle. Osbaldison back to punt. An average of 43.6 yards. There's some movement along the Argo defensive line. Ozzy with a line drive into the wind, taken by Steve Smith at his own 42. Not sure where to go, and is finally smothered by the pursuit.